David Nielsen live in La Mesa, California, where they own a small home contracting business, and the one time they and their five children can all get together is at supper. Hey, kids, time to eat. When Renee, Brian, Dwight, Larry, and Terry sit down to dinner with their parents, like many American families, they say grace and pass the TV guide. <laughs> Monday night, what are we going to... You guys, guess what's on at 8 o'clock? The second annual cheerleading championships. That's what we're going to watch. <laughs> Oh, there's Little House on the Prairie. Anybody for Little House on the Prairie? No. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to watch the news for a change when supper's over with. Oh, there's salvage one on. WKRP in Cincinnati. Is that on? Forget it. Eight o'clock is taken. I haven't given my vote. I don't care. Oh. It's, it's three against how many ever already. I bought the TV. My vote counts the most. <laughs> how come the TV's on? What are we watching? Oh, another Brady Bunch reprint. I haven't seen that one. I've seen that about five times. If we could get you to watch a new show once in a while, you might be surprised what's on TV. Why don't we talk about Cheryl Teagues? <laughs> After dinner, we asked the Nielsen family if they thought their tastes in television were similar to those of the families used in the AC Nielsen rating service. I think the Nielsen families give the Nielsen families a bad name because they don't choose what we would choose particularly. Some of the shows that we think have some merit are dropped and some of the trash that they have on that is just goes on year after year. Among shows that are offensive to me are things like Maud, All in the Family, because they, because of the subject matter that borders on things that we would consider vulgar. We don't like Laverne and Shirley that much, and it's always at the top. That is idiocy beyond compare. Tarzan, that's one of the shows that I really hate. I just don't, I just don't think that, that any guy could be friends with a whole jungle. The commercials are the most offensive of all. <laughs> uh, I do not think that gurgling stomachs and draining sinuses and they just <laughs> and pepto bismol <laughs> and their bodies are going mm -hmm. <laughs> underwear commercial are very offensive to me everybody knows people wear them but you don't have to uh, have to talk about it since mrs nielsen didn't appreciate having to hear about underwear we asked them to whom they thought television was geared truthfully i think most television programs are made for eight-year-olds or nine-year-olds. Or nine-year-olds. <laughs> a lot of television shows are for them adults. <laughs> Up till now, one might get the impression this Nielsen family oh. thinks very negatively of television. I don't want to give the impression that we think very negatively of television because that really isn't true. <laughs> television is very educational. I like TV families a lot. Um, lots of times, you know, you can see a lot of our family in it. We all like Carter Country. Um, Different strokes. Mash or Barney Miller. Rockford Files. Mork and Mindy. <laughs> 24 hours a day. Some abstaining views on that one. And I like Family Feud because we were hoping we would be on it. In trying to avoid their own Family Feud, we asked the Nielsens how they all got together and decided what to watch. We sometimes draw straws. Um, we would sometimes vote on it. Mrs. Nielsen says it's all very democratic, and the two youngest boys tell us how democracy works in the Nielsen household. <laughs> Let me watch TV or I'll beat you to a pulp. <laughs> Every member of the Nielsen family had a differing opinion on what were the best and worst shows and commercials on the air. So if seven members of the real Nielsen family cannot decide what they will watch on one television set, one might ask, how could 1,200 unrelated Nielsen families determine what you and I will watch in 100 million television sets? However, there was one thing on television the Nielsens did all agree on. I think Howard Cosell's a jerk myself, but <laughs> I just cannot take him. When we left, the youngest boys had won the vote or the fight, so they had control of the television set. That left the rest of the Nielsen family to just talk about television. When I go to the market, I might be tempted to squeeze the toilet tissue, but it wouldn't be because I saw it on TV. It would be because I know toilet paper is already soft and it feels good. I'm tired of talking about TV. Let's talk about boys. Good night, everyone. Good night, Renee. Good night, Larry. Uh, good night, Brian.
Dwight, shut off that Atari and go to bed. <laughs>